Yeah, baby. Well, hello. I hope you are having a fantastic week. We have so many great things happening and I love to bring wins of the week to you. We're going to get into the why real estate investors run their businesses backwards and it's costing them a fortune in just a few minutes. But I wanted to give you the wins of the week because many times that is such an inspiration. And I always love to hear your wins of the week as well. So definitely always send those in. We just had one and it really fits with everything that I teach. We had a property, it's a higher end property and we put it on the market. Now, not only did we put it on the market on our own website, which is to attract potential buyers that have a nice pile of down payment money and the ability to pay the monthly payment. But sometimes if I don't have that buyer, that particular buyer in the inventory already, then what we do is put it on the market and list it with a flat fee broker. Well, sure enough, we did that with this property and this buyer comes along with their agent in tow and the agent comes in, the agent's being paid a full commission on this deal and brought me a buyer, wonderful buyer on this property. And in fact, they've got $60,000 down. So when we talk about the house monster, we talk about finding the buyer before you buy. We talk about there's people out there with huge down payments, but the banks don't love them. Now this gentleman easily should be able to qualify for a traditional loan at the bank, but he can't. And that's just so common with entrepreneurs. They've got good businesses. They've got piles of money in the bank. They've got the ability to pay on a monthly basis, but the banks don't love them. Well, we do. And we give them a great opportunity to have a great property. And that's exactly what we had here. So this gentleman put it under contract with his agent. And so now he's going to have about a $2,300 a month payment. And we're going to have initially $60,000 down and they are going to have a great thing. So looking at wins of the week, that's an amazing one. And I want you to just be thinking about what does your business look like when you already have a buyer? You already have a buyer. They already have down payment money. They can already afford a monthly payment. And in this particular case, you say, well, Lou, that's what you're telling me to do. But in this case, you already had a house. Why didn't you have a buyer for that? Well, because I just simply didn't have an inventory, someone that could afford a $400,000 home. And by the way, when we hear the term affordable housing provider, you might be thinking in your mind, well, you're talking about junker properties in bad neighborhoods. No, we're not talking about that at all. We're talking about what the customer can afford. And so sometimes we need a little help to find that customer with the most significant down payment. And in this particular case, we did have someone that was wanting to buy this property, was not able to perform, decided to move to Florida, handed us the house back, said, here, have fun with that. And we said, thank you very much. We will. And we did give them that when we received the property back, they moved on. We looked at the market and we found that the property was worth about a hundred thousand dollars more than they could have purchased the property for. But that was their decision to leave and move on. So as, as a result of that, that's what caused us to put it on the market and, and through the process of having that flat fee broker, we were able to discover and know every time the property was shown, it, it was shown a number of times and we had different competing interests. We had some people that did have good enough credit, did have good enough down payment and other properties. They just simply bought other properties. And then along comes a buyer that says, I want to know more about this owner financing possible that's in the listing. And so as a result, that's how we were able to obtain our buyer. I hope you enjoy that story. And I hope it's an inspiration to you on what to do and how to do it with your business.